nobody quite like you Got me falling through and through Straight to the top I'm tumbling My roller coaster's rumbling Can you please explain Why I'm acting out my brain Oh I've never been like this before Oh why did I wait so long to soar I can't help but always think of you Good morning guys Good morning all right, so <clears throat> I'm gonna work on our dining room table that we got yesterday. Yep. And I apologize that I haven't really been in the vlogs lately. I've just been working crazy hours, but I get some time this morning. He yeah, has off this weekend. And I have off nice. this weekend. Um, people from work took leave, so I had to take over their shifts, but it's all good, it happens. And Miller wants to say good morning. Say good morning. Hi. Good morning. All right, guys, so let me get to work and get this dining room set. Yeah, we got this stuff uh, yesterday. I told you guys before that we had ordered a dining room set. And I just opened one of the boxes, and it looks like it's the chairs. And there's the other boxes over there. So, Emmeline's going to help. Are you ready? Let's get to work. Okay, guys, I just got up from a nap, and so did Emmeline. We both napped. I mean, not in the same bed, but... We nap at the same time. We nap for, I only nap for like maybe an hour and she napped for two, which is good. So now it's lunchtime, Josue's at work. Um, he's been going in later lately and working really late, so. And I mean, when I say he works really late, he works till like eight, 8.30, but later than usual. So right now I'm making some mac and cheese for Emmeline. And she's just off and running. I look like a mess today, guys, because I really, this how I look is how I feel. <laughs> like. I really feel like garbage. I just, I hate that I keep saying that, but I really truly do feel like I could vomit at any second, like all day. It's awful, I just wanna lay in bed, but I can't when I have a little, a little babe. Look at her. Look how cute she looks. She's just watching Friends. <laughs> she looks so cute. And I don't know if I even showed you guys the TV stand. But that's the TV stand. She's kind of blocking it with the TV on it. We will plan on mounting it on the wall. But we don't want to mount that TV because we plan on getting another one and moving that TV into our bedroom. And then the TV that's in our bedroom will go into like Emmeline's room. But for now, that's how it's gonna be. And I'm making a little chicken nugget, some mac and cheese. So I'm gonna feed her, and then we'll see you guys after. Oh, and we didn't finish assembling the chairs and stuff for the dining room set. Um, we'll do that this weekend. But anyways, back to mac and cheese. Okay, Emmeline just ate, and now she's watching Mother Goose Club. She looks so cute, she loves this show. And she just sits there and watches it. She's so cute. She literally melts my heart. But anyways, while she's like, um, involved in the show. I'm gonna finish doing some laundry and maybe clean up the kitchen a little bit. It's not too bad because I cleaned it up mostly today, this morning. And I really don't have that much to do. I have painting to do, but I'm gonna do that this weekend whenever Josue's home so he can watch her. And I can just get it done and hopefully start with the gray on these walls in the kitchen, get that done, set up the dining room table, which I hope we like, because if not, I'm gonna have to return it and I don't wanna do all that. but. We'll see. Okay guys, I'm gonna give Emmeline a bath. She's eaten. And normally I give her a bath at night, but being that I feel like garbage at night, I figured I would just give her a bath right now. So she's all clean. And she's gonna be ready for a nap in like an hour or so. She's ready to take a bath. Are you ready for bath time? Are you ready for bath time? Are you ready for bath 
the bad time? Oh, you slapped yourself. You slapped yourself, baby. She has such a bigger tub in this house. <laughs> okay, let's give you a bath. She's all clean. Yes. And now she's just playing with their toys. They're like floating around the tub. <laughs> My sweetie girl. She looks so cute. I love my little sweet pea. But anyways guys, doctor's appointment update. Um, I was supposed to go to the doctor on May 3rd. I think I had mentioned that in a previous vlog because I wanted to switch doctors. So I was going to a different one on May 3rd. And I recently visited that hospital, um, probably, I think Monday. <laughs> because I was having like severe indigestion that I'd never had before. Like I felt like, you know, I was gonna vomit, but not only that, like it hurt to breathe and everything. So I ended up going to the hospital to just get checked out make sure everything was fine. And I went to the hospital where, you know, that doctor's office would deliver, you know, our baby. And it was awful. I hate that hospital. I don't ever wanna go there again. I, it was, not that the staff were really bad, but I mean, they weren't great. And the place where we delivered Emmeline in Texas, St. Luke's Baptist in San Antonio was amazing. They were amazing. Our doctor was amazing. The staff was amazing. It was a beautiful building. I mean, it was just from stepping in there to leaving was an amazing experience for us. And not that I'm trying to be picky about, you know, a hospital, but I want to be comfortable where I'm giving birth. You know what I mean? And I'm sure many of you feel the same way if you've given birth or you're pregnant now, you're scoping out hospitals or you have before. So I was actually glad that we visited this hospital because it was just not good. And if you guys have been watching my vlog for a long time, then you know my husband is military and he works at a hospital here in Jacksonville. A military base hospital and not that we're against giving birth there it's just that you know that's a little bit farther of a drive and you know to go see a doctor you know for now it's like once every few months and then it'll be more often but anyways I called my previous doctor today and they are so booked they wouldn't even be able to get me until the end of May and by then I'm gonna be over 10 weeks pregnant, so I'm not gonna wait that long to be seen by a doctor about this pregnancy. They did check me in the hospital and said that um, they did an ultrasound and said everything was great, but you know, that's not like your official sonogram. You know, whenever you go get your sonogram at the doctor's office, you know, you get your little pictures and they tell you like everything that's going on and blah, blah, blah. So I just texted Josue and you know, I think what we're gonna need to do is, you know, investigate the Navy hospital a little bit or I need to find a different physician who delivers at a different hospital, you know, a little bit farther away than this one is. So I don't know, it's up in the air. Right now I don't even have an appointment set. So fun stuff, but I'm gonna wait for him to call me on his lunch break and I'll talk to him about it all and see what he wants, see what he thinks and just go from there. But one thing that I am worried about is like the labor and delivery room. I want my own private room and I know a lot of places don't do that. The place I delivered in Texas did, but I don't know. So I wanna check and make sure the Naval Hospital does that. If they have their own separate rooms, I might just say screw it and go there, but we shall see. Okay guys, for dinner I made a um, ground beef quesadilla with cheese and I have sour cream and salsa. And somebody's very jealous, but this is not for you, baby. You already ate, you had a bunch of fruit. And it's still all over your face. Yes. She's watching Mother Goose Club. I'm gonna eat this, and then soon it'll be time for Little Nugget to go to bed. Yes. <laughs> okay guys, I just ate the quesadilla and it was perfection, so. You guys already know what I'm gonna say. I feel like garbage. I'm gonna sit and watch some Friends 
Emmeline's gonna go to bed in about an hour and I'm not far behind her because I am exhausted. So, with that being said, I'm sorry for the vlogs lately. Don't worry, I will be back on track with fun vlogging. Not that it was probably that fun, but anyways. But we're gonna do fun stuff this weekend. We're gonna go to the pool if the weather permits, so. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow's vlog. Bye, guys.